Hey folks, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on the Anchor Solex C1000X. I've got a link to this product in the description below. If you're looking for a portable power station, my friends, this is something worth checking out. It's got six AC ports on the front, a little over 1,000 watt hours, and 1,800 watts of output. You can charge and power all of these devices that you see, including this vintage blender. Is it any good? Let's find out. So let's take a closer look at the Solix C1000X. First thing you'll notice is all the different port options. Of course, you got the six AC ports on the bottom, which is plentiful. On the side here, you can see that you do have, that's where you charge the AC input. Also, you have that other port, that yellow one, that's when you connect it to the solar panels. On the other side, there is this other port. If you want to connect another battery bank to this, to have two of them, like connect them together, you can do that with that port and just kind of stack them on top of each other. That's really how it was designed for additional power support. In addition, you have uh, that car adapter port and also USB-C ports. In this case, I'm just going to show you how it looks when you're charging different types of appliances. I have an electric grill on the left here. And then I also have a hair dryer, which takes a lot of power. That's why I wanted to test it with it. But I also got this vintage Panasonic blender that I got um, through the family. I don't use this, but I just wanted to try it because I know it works. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, to see how everything works together. The first thing I want to do is try everything individually to make sure it works because the way that the, the output of this is just a little over a thousand watts, you probably don't want more than uh, one device on it at a single time. Well, it depends on the, de the device. For example, this blow dryer, which works no problem on the high setting, I probably do not want that on and something else on like this electric uh, Grill. But right there, you know, you can see I was able to get both the blender and the hair dryer to work at the same time. But if I was to use that electric grill and try to have everything, I think it will uh, not work just because, you know, there you go. And you can see what happens right there. I'm going over that thousand watts and that's what's going to prevent you from, you know, using multiple devices. But individually, you're not going to have a problem. Now let's go ahead and test it out with the Anchor Solix solar panel. This actual model is the 531 foldable solar panel. It's a little bit bigger. It's a kind of in that mid middle stage. And you can see it kind of opens up pretty easily. And I'm able by myself to use the adjustable kickstands on the back to kind of get it set up uh, at an angle. Now it's very important depending on where the sun is on the horizon, what angle that you have it at just want to give you a quick look on how it looks from the back side because getting that angle is key and that's how you do it with those kickstands they have different types of uh, angles that you can adjust it to they actually there's that panel on the back I don't actually have it fully set out there but that's how you can adjust it for the different types of angles but because this was a cloudy day it really didn't matter what angle I had I wasn't expecting much power there's the output that's the connection that you will then connect directly to the uh, portable power bank and then you're going to be able to get that DC power direct current power but the portable power bank well, actually if you have AC and DC connected it will always go to AC first but you know if you're looking for a portable power solution to you know charge devices or power devices while you're camping everything from your tablet your laptop but maybe you want to bring your electric grill and do some camping you're going to be able to do that with the Solix C1000X it also works with the Solix app so you can kind of gauge the different types of outputs and in this case I was checking it out both to see what you know kind of output I get when I charge those different types of appliances you can see right there it's over 1400 watts uh, AC output going out it can do a max of 1800 so I was getting pretty high up there but over here what you'll notice the DC input with the solar panel it's at zero watts I'm not getting any power it seems even though that solar panel is supposed to work in cloudy conditions that just shows you how much 
uh, the importances of sun when you're trying to power a power bank via solar panels. So if you are in the market for a portable power bank, I really recommend this one just because it can handle those appliances. This is what I call smart camping, folks. If you have something like this, check it out. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from Handy Andy Media. The link to the product is in the description below. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.